Hi, this is Mike with OPST. I'm gonna show you our, a little bit of our setup here. Have the, the new eight weight we're working on. Got down locking reel seat. You'll see that different in quite a few of the videos lately. I've been prototyping this. 40 pound oval. We should have this back in stock shortly. Um, orange has been good stuff. On this rod, I have a 425 commando head and then a run tip. We're fishing a new river, low, low and clear. So don't have to fish super deep. The other advice that I want to give right here is fish the junk. Don't don't fish those gravel. I mean, I mean, do fish the gravel bars that are easy, but don't just fish those. Go into the places where you don't want to go. You're like, ah, there's, I got stuff right here in front of me, so I got to move over here and, and and control my loops and everything. I got one knee up, bent here, one leg straight, so the incline's pretty deep. But there's there's water right here. There's more junk below me. There's junk across the way. So as these rivers clear up, you'll have moving fish, but then you're gonna have fish that are gonna set up and they're gonna set up and hide. And, and stuff like this is a hiding spot. So it's not, don't always hit those gravel bars that are just big sweeping forever bars. They can fish when fish are moving. But if you're sitting in, in these kind of conditions, these fish aren't gonna move a lot. They're, you're gonna sit up and wait for the next water event. And if they, if they move, typically be early in the morning or late at night. And just depending on, like this morning was really cold. So there's not gonna be a lot of fish moving. They're gonna hunker down in the deeper holes. They're gonna peek their head out. So just think about the places that you don't wanna fish. You're afraid to break off. You're like, I don't wanna retie on. Well, if you don't wanna retie on, you're giving up at least 50% of the water you could be swinging. Don't be afraid to, to you know, you, you got a fly you spend a lot of time in or it's an expensive fly. But if you're not willing to throw it in the junk and, and take a chance of losing it, you're you're really limiting your opportunities for for fish. And like I said, out here we have a big stump in the river. You definitely can't fish over it. But as I came in, I, I swung all the way to it. I made casts across, I made casts down, and, and now I'm working my way behind it. And this stump here in front of me controls some of my casts. So I can't do a peri poke because, of course, that's just where my setup is. So you're going to change your angles. And as you step down, you can see I'm only three feet off the bank. This is plenty far off the bank. You don't, you don't have to get deeper. I could, be, I could be behind the stump and be near chest deep, and I could still touch a bottom. But there's no point in that. It it's makes your life more miserable, controlling your line miserable. And your next step could be over your waders, too. This is controlled. You're still stepping over structure and... And like I said, junk. But this is the kind of stuff that most two-hand guys skip. With commando head system, it's nice because this is still pretty open, but we can get into this stuff tighter. We could have bushes right here and be in the, our short heads. We, we don't have to have those giant sweeping casts. So we don't need 30 feet behind us or 40 feet behind us. We need five or 10. And if we can get that, then we can fish. That's the advantage of this system is we can fish this tight stuff. And like I said, this one's not, you got plenty of, of casting here, but there'll be a lot of them. We, we could be on an outside corner and the same thing. Don't be afraid. This is, a, this is a little inside corner. Outside corners do the same thing. Same typical type of weighting right here where you're going to be one leg up high, one leg down low, right against the bank. That's how a lot of outside corners will set up too. But the trees will be closer to you but just get comfortable with that. Get comfortable with, with getting into those dirty places that, you know, you, you come down a river and you're like, man, I like that gravel bar around the corner, but you might've passed the fish that was willing to eat because he's sitting over here in this stuff. So if you're willing to get out of your comfort zone casting, our system makes that possible one, and it will increase your, your odds of, of encounters. And I highly recommend fishing around junk. Like I said, it's it, even in, in, in high water conditions, they're still become like this right here in the high water. You'll, and I'm gonna swing all the way to the bank right now, but fish will stage up right behind these at literally three or four feet off the bank. And most guys are gonna jump out. And we talked about this before with when you enter a run, if I was gonna enter this run, which I've already, I've already fished through the top half of this, so I've already entered it. But if I was gonna enter this run, I'm gonna come up here like this and I'm gonna throw dump casts and I still have head in the, in the tip of my rod, but I'm, gonna, I'm targeting 
that little soft spot below me because there could be a fish right there. And then once you get to there, you're gonna extend out a little bit. Still not, you're not making big casts. I didn't let any line out. I, I stretch it out beforehand. And then again, if I'm gonna target this spot right here, I'm gonna swing over to here. It's gonna hit some eddies, make your fly dance a little bit. That's how you should enter a run. And then the next cast should just pick up, dump a little more out, set up how you want. One other thing I can tell you is never make the same cast over and over and over again. You can make variations of it, but change it up. Change cast up here, cast over here, cast down here, cast way down here, and, and bounce them back and forth.